This is Billionaire Mondays. Every Monday, we present you with another billionaire. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Colonel Sanders. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hey there, Aluxers. It's great to have you back with us today, since we're talking about the most famous colonel in the history of modern America, Colonel Sanders. Although he didn't get to be quite a billionaire, his empire is worth a lot more than that. So we made an exception and included him in our Billionaire Monday series. In case his name isn't ringing a bell for you, but we bet it does, he's the founder of the fast food chain KFC. He acted as the chairman and brand ambassador for the restaurant and was a part of the logo and the whole identity behind the brand his entire life. He died in 1980 at the age of 90 years old, but as long as his fast food chain lives on, he'll live on with it. Originally from Louisville, Kentucky, he began selling fried chicken at a roadside restaurant, not KFC, during the Great Depression. He saw the potential a franchise could have, so he opened another restaurant in Utah in 1952. The roadside restaurant closed shortly after that, and so he began to focus on growing the franchise nationwide. From one restaurant to thousands, the chain grew larger and larger each day until he actually gave up on the company and sold it. Nowadays, KFC is a worldwide fast food chain, and some say it's even more popular than McDonald's, but that depends on each and every one. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So get comfortable. You're now watching the 15 things you didn't know about Colonel Sanders. Secret recipe included. Number 1. He had a tough and modest upbringing. Although he founded a mega restaurant chain and now everyone wants to eat crispy chicken strips, his entrepreneurial roots were quite modest. He grew up close to Henryville, Indiana, in a regular household with three siblings and his parents. His father worked on a farm and then switched to become a butcher. He died in 1895 from a fever and his mother had to pick up a job at a tomato cannery in order to sustain the family. Sanders had to look after his brothers while his mother was working and also attend church since he was very religious. After the death of his father, she remarried, but Sanders ended up running away from home because of his relationship with his stepfather. Number 2. He had all sorts of jobs prior to KFC. Having such a tough childhood and teen years, it's no surprise that he worked different jobs, hopping from one to another. He even dropped out of school from 7th grade because he didn't like algebra. He worked as a farmhand, he painted horse carriages, he was a steam engine stoker, an insurance salesman, and even a filling station operator. None of them had anything to do with restaurants and fast food, but he was never afraid to do something new and make a living. Fortunately for him, he made more than that and proved that hard work really does pay off. Number 3. He owned a motel with a 140-seat restaurant. As his journey goes on, from job to job, after meeting Josephine, his first wife, he was forced to make more money and sustain his family of three children. After trying the railways, the army, and some law-related jobs, he then bought a motel in Asheville, North Carolina. This is the place where he finalized his secret recipe for the fried chicken and also the technique to do it properly since the recession was upon him. Entering the 1940s, he was forced to close his restaurant and went to working in cafeterias for the government. He was later commissioned as a Kentucky Colonel by the governor of Kentucky, and the rest is history. Number 4. His secret 12-ingredient recipe is now public. Everyone knows that fast food is addictive. Some say it's because of the additives and sugar that's in them, but Colonel Sanders claims that his fried chicken has a secret recipe that gives it the special taste. The original KFC secret recipe is in fact a mix of ingredients. For a long period of time, it was indeed a secret, but not anymore. The mix of 11 spices and herbs contains, okay, grab a pen and some paper, two third teaspoons of salt, half teaspoon of thyme, half teaspoon of basil, one third teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of celery salt, 
one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of dried mustard, four teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic salt, one teaspoon of ground ginger, and three teaspoons of white pepper, all mixed in with two cups of white flour and cooked using a pressure cooker, producing tasty moist chicken in eight or nine minutes only. Following these steps, and you can achieve your own KFC fried chicken at home. Let us know if you cook some KFC nearly as good as the original. Number five, his net worth when he died was roughly $3.5 million. Colonel Sanders didn't always make the right decisions for KFC if we were to judge him by how much money the brand is now worth and how much money he made out of it. He sold the company for only $2 million, which is around $15 million today, and settled for a monthly salary. Those $2 million and add in other monies he made by being the brand's ambassador made him only $3.5 million by the time he died. The investment group that bought KFC from him made significantly more money when they went public with KFC. According to Forbes, KFC is now valued at $12.6 billion, and to think that it all started in a small town. Number 6. He often criticized KFC management publicly and even sued them. After he sold KFC, Sanders only had power over KFC Canada, and since most of his company was now under a group of managers, things were not going as he thought they would. Over the years, he had a lot of arguments with the management and even sued them. He often stated in public appearances that KFC is not the same brand he created, that they don't use the same recipes, or that the decisions they make are not beneficial. That sparked a lot of controversy in the media, and often ended with court settlements. Towards the end of his life, after a few settlements and scandals, he stopped criticizing them, even though he regretted selling KFC. Number 7. KFC is now replacing Colonel Sanders with Claudia Sanders, his female counterpart. In 2018, most people know what KFC means, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and who Colonel Sanders is. These emblematic items have propelled KFC as one of the strongest brands in the world. Still, people love the brand nowadays, even though it's highly linked to obesity and junk food. For any brand, though, consistency is key. Slight rebranding techniques are often needed to keep the image looking fresh and updated, but KFC has gone a little far this time. They want to replace Colonel Sanders with a female version, Claudia Sanders. This was an International Women's Day initiative, but some people really thought it was forever. Claudia Sanders was, in fact, his second wife, so at least they kept it in the family. Number 8. KFC is now developing vegetarian options for their products. Sanders spent years developing his secret recipe for fried chicken, and just like the name itself, the restaurant is specialized in selling chicken-based products. It's been like that since the beginning, and that's why people go to KFC to eat crispy chicken strips. With the new food trends and animal rights activists being more and more vocal, KFC felt the need to address the issue, and now they're working on new menus and vegan products that will soon be implemented in some restaurants. The process is ongoing for now and will probably come out in 2019, leaving some thinking, what would Colonel Sanders think of this new direction? Vegetarian fried chicken is not what Sanders had in his mind back in the day, but now he's dead, so he can't fight for it. Number 9. He patented a lot of KFC taglines, recipes, and methods from the beginning. KFC and its founder, Colonel Sanders, knew from the beginning that in order to have success and to grow, he needed to have something unique, because chicken is something anyone can fry. He came up with his secret recipe and a quicker method and some good taglines to make people curious about their products. It all worked just fine, and nowadays KFC still uses the secret recipe, the image of Colonel Sanders, and some taglines that he patented years ago. This helped the brand with positioning and consistency. Other restaurants can't use the same phrases, and that makes KFC stand out in the whole market. He might not have been a great businessman, but he was a smart guy. Number 10. 
KFC and Colonel Sanders have museums all over the world. For KFC enthusiasts and food lovers, you'll be pleased to know that KFC has some museums all over the world, and Colonel Sanders also has his own museums. Harlan Sanders Cafe and Museum is actually one of the first restaurants where he developed his secret recipe. There are also KFC museums in China and in Chicago. And on a similar note, you might not know, but just like Colonel Sanders' secret recipe, other popular foods were discovered by mistake or through long trials. We made a video called 10 Famous Foods Discovered by Mistake, which you can check out by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. Before he died, he founded a charity organization in his name. Billionaires nowadays race and strive to give as much as they possibly can to those in need, to different researches and all sorts of causes they feel like. Some even pledge to give half of their fortunes to charity. Sanders came from a relatively normal family, and starting from the bottom, he made a name for himself and a money-making business. He's not known to give millions of dollars to charity, but before he died, he felt the need to leave something behind, and he founded the Colonel Harland Sanders Charitable Organization. Through the organization, he's donated significant amounts of money to hospitals and health centers. He even donated the money he got back from his taxes. Number 12. The voice of the animated Colonel Sanders in the new KFC commercials is provided by Randy Quaid. After Colonel Sanders died, KFC was faced with the problem of replacing him with someone that looks and sounds just like him. Fortunately for them, they found a few guys that were able to help them out. Agencies came up with the idea of doing animations, and it worked. In 1998, an animated version of the Colonel was used for commercials and voiced by Randy Quaid. The commercial was a great success, but they dropped it by 2002. Still, for those reminiscing old ads, know that it's not Sanders himself voicing them. Number 13. The UK is KFC's largest market. If you didn't notice by now or if you haven't been to the US, you would know that KFC is not that popular there. Yes, it was started in the US by a US citizen, but the franchise system has made it possible for the chain to expand globally, where more people have adopted the fast food culture, wanting to be more like Americans. The US has so many fast food chains that are not available overseas that they consider KFC, Subway, or McDonald's as cheap food. For the rest of the world, eating at KFC or McDonald's is cool, tasty, and convenient. One of those nations is actually the UK, where KFC is highly popular, and also in China. And if something happens to their beloved restaurant, it is national news. Number 14. He wore the same outfit in public until he died. After selling most of the company, Colonel Sanders resumed his work to public appearances as himself and the KFC brand ambassador. His outfit was always the same, no matter what the occasion, a white suit and black string tie. He had two suits, one made out of light material for the summer and a wool suit for the winter. He never took it off in public, ads or everything that had to do with his job. He took the job with a great deal of responsibility and even bleached his mustache to make it look perfectly white every time. His famous white suit was sold at auction for $21,510 by an unknown buyer. Number 15. When he died, KFC was generating almost $6 billion in sales. KFC was doing well when he first sold the company to those investors, and even better when he died. By that time, the company had more than 6,000 restaurants in 48 countries worldwide. Nowadays, there are more than 20,000 locations around the globe. In 1980, KFC was making almost $6 billion in sales and had already established a strong name in the fast food industry. The first franchise restaurant is still open and is located in Salt Lake, Utah, open for all KFC fans and enthusiasts. KFC now makes more than $23 billion in sales annually and is the most popular restaurant in China. 
And Aluxers, that's it. It's been a finger-looking pleasure to have you all with us for this video, and thanks for watching until the end. How many of you Aluxers go to KFC or other fast food chain restaurants when you travel for a quick bite? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.